As soon as she spotted Kirsty and Rachel, the fairy did a happy, happy twirl. Hello, Dean, she exclaimed in a sing-song voice. I'm so happy I found you. The fairy waved her wand with a flourish, a cloud of tiny artist palettes instantly popped into the air around her, each one of the perfect miniature, completely with brushes and overs of brightly colored paint. We met yesterday, didn't we? asked Kirsty, remembering their trip to Fairyland. You're Alison, added Rachel, Alison the art fairy. Alison giggled with pleasure. She really did look as pretty as a picture. Her sunny blonde hair tumbled in, a, in waves around her shoulders, topped off with a dusty pink beret. She wore a bright polka dotted t shirt with a slogan on it. Jungly beads and a maxi strut in different shades of pink. It's tie dye, she said proudly, when she noticed Christian Rachel admiring her strut. I made it myself. The cheerful little fairy was full of chatter until the messy chalk drawings on the ground caught her eye. Oh dear, she said forlornly. You can probably guess why I'm here. Christy glanced nervously over her shoulder, knelt down exactly to Alison. Is it your gold star badge? Christy whispered. Alison nodded furiously. I actually need to get it back. My magical badge makes sure that all art lessons are full of fun and go smoothly. Imagine a world without beautiful drawings. Paintings and sculptures. With that, the fairy's voice trailed off. Rachel glimpsed the tiny silver tear trail trickled down Alison's cheek. We will put things right, she replied kindly. The goblins can't get away with this. Tracy took Rachel's hand, her face full of determination. We find your badge in no time. She promised. Alison's face brightened at once, but before she could say another word, a group of children ran past. You need to hide, whispered Rachel. Can you fly into my pocket? Quick as a flash, Alison darted into Rachel's jacket pocket and ducked out of sight. A trail of tiny stars glittered in the air behind her for a second. Disappearing one by one. Tristy and Rachel waited as small of her classmates galloped past them. A big circle of children had formed on the other side of the playground. Even Adam and Amina had stopped swinging and joined the crowd. What's happening over there? asked Rachel, catching. Amina, Amina's arm. It's the new boy, she answered breathlessly. Help see what they have done. Is it something against the rules? Dressed Trusty. Oh no, replied Adam. They made the most amazing chalk drawing ever. Trusty raised an eyebrow at Rachel. The goblins are up to something already, she said. Just loudly enough for Alison to hear. Christy and Rachel grabbed their backpacks and ran over to a bet to get a better look. What do you think? Struck one of the goblins, seeing their curious face. Better than your silly struggles, isn't it? Who want to draw a fairy anyway? But the other one, our drawings are the best. For once, the goblins were absolutely right. The black stop was covered with the most eye-catching, astonishing chalk art the girls had ever seen. It's Jack Frost's ice castle, said Rachel. Every detail was perfect. The castle had spiky two reds, frosty icicles, and a forbidding oak door. The picture glistened in blues, 
quoits and silvers, creating a feeling of wintry it made crusty shiver. Loot shivers went under her breath. They made they even added a new dropping stool. That's the playground on the side. No goblin could have drawn this on his own, added Rachel. They must have Alison's straw star patch with them right now. Trusty replied urgently. Trusty gazed at the two smart goblins spreading about their handiwork. Although the other children didn't recognize their eyes tassel, they couldn't help but be impressed. By the glittering color and intricate shapes. Trusty edged a little closer to the bitter to the bitter and more boastful goblin. I'll sign autographs if you want, he was crowing to the crowd. But only if you give me some candy. Trusty blinked. She was sure she could see the tip of the magical badge poking out of his green pants pocket. I think I can get it, she mouthed to Rachel, reaching out her hand. Trusty's fingers trembled as she got closer and closer to the badge. Rachel held her breath.